Okay guys, uh, in this video tutorial we are going to talk about the structure of flagella. Now, uh, flagella is a remarkable machine and actually we are talking about the structure of bacterial flagella because flagella structure for both eukaryotes as well as prokaryotes both are very much complicated but for prokaryotes it is very very uh, unique and very complicated structure as you can see in this picture clearly right and it's a remarkable drawing that people may sometimes uh, some creationists they thought that yes it's it's a it's a wonder of creation but we know this is not a wonder this is simply this is obviously a wonder but this is not a wonder of creation it is the wonder of evolution okay so what you can see how complex this machinery is actually you can you can see you can see at least one uh, at a time so let's talk about this left hand side image first so what we can see about the bacterial flagella they are made up with flagellin proteins instead of tubulin because the eukaryotic flagella are made up with tubulins okay so in this case of uh, bacterial flagella they are actually having two important sections one is uh, the rotor unit another one is the stator unit now the rotor unit is the unit which helps the flagella to move or rotate right and that is uh, designated by most of the ring like structures and the ring we can see in bacterial flagella are majorly three type one is L ring one is P ring another one is the MS ring you can see it in the picture and also the scanning electron microscope you can see here L this is L ring this is P ring and this is MS ring three rings are there right and all these rings that we have seen they are embedded onto the membrane right now if you look at a gram negative bacteria for an example you can see here three layers in the gram negative bacteria of their membrane this is the inner membrane of gram negative bacteria this is the inner membrane this is a very thin peptidoglycan layer and this is the outer membrane of gram negative bacteria and we know that in between this peptidoglycan and inner membrane and peptidoglycan and outer membrane we are having those periplasmic space right so this is the periplasmic space between the two different membrane units okay and this whole section is consisting of those ring and the rings are embedded onto this membrane and peptidoglycan as you can see l ring and ms ring are embedded onto the outer membrane as and inner membrane respectively but on the other hand p ring is embedded and attached with the peptidoglycan layer right <coughs> And one important thing is that this this is a section which is completely embedded inside the cell membrane, right? And cell wall, whatever. So this section is termed as a basal body. So this whole part is termed as a basal body, which is embedded, right? Except for that, some structure which is uh, coming out side this cell membrane that is called uh, the filament and hook. So majorly most of the ring structures, actually all the ring structures are embedded onto the membrane on inside the cell and outside the cell we are having only two important structures, one is filament, another one is hook. Now filament is the actual thing what we see outside the membrane as flagella which is a long, small, uh, long, thin, very thin thread like structure coming out of the bacterial cell, we see literally filaments and that filament is attached with this ring via section which is called hook right so hook is a very important uh, structure which holds those filament attached with this different ring like structure right so that's what we can see in this picture so this is the hook which is kind of bending and this hook is very much flexible and the proteins that are making this hook are very much flexible in that sense and this hook is a uh, is a, the intermediate link between the flagella uh, filament and the flagella rings right so this flagellar filaments that we are seeing they are made mostly made up with the protein called flagellin as you can see they are looking like grape like structures so many flagellin protein will come and they are attached with each other to make this structure right so that's kind of the overview of the structure right so if we look at here in the it, uh, at the very bottom of this which is the inner membrane and inner membrane is having ms ring and another ring it is termed as c ring which is embedded here right so so you can see here in this inner membrane everything is kind of embedded like you can see mod proteins these proteins are termed as mod proteins in both ends we can see here the mod proteins are in this brown colored so mod proteins are there and we are having m and c ring ms ring and c ring actually these rings are termed as the name of the proteins right because the protein are m 
M and S and then C so actually different proteins like flea so actually the proteins that are making this whole flagella are flagellin so they are termed as flea proteins sometimes they are termed as flea F, flea G, flea M and all this so if it's a flea M it's M, flea S and then flea H, flea F, flea G so these are the different proteins that are assembled together to give the proper structure to the flagella right so that's kind of it and this this the whole thing is making the rotor of it the rotor or which is the rotating unit of the flagella but in this picture it is not shown there is another section that is called <coughs> the stator and the stator is made up with two important section one is mot a and mot b though they are given as the mot uh, proteins here but actually mot is not only embedded onto the inner membrane it is actually embedded in two sections one is in the inner membrane and some portion of this mot is also attached with the peptidoglycan layer which is not shown in this picture right so actually if we consider the whole rotor section it will be this l ring p ring s and m and all these rings but this mot section is stator it is fixed it won't rotate you know for rotation in all these cases whatever rotating unit you are seeing cars uh, most of the time cars right so all these rotation units you need to have some rotor machinery rotator that is rotating all the time but for the rotation we need to have a cover of it which is in a fixed position and that cover in this case is provided by mot proteins which are fixed they are not rotating but there should be an interaction between this rotor and stator because uh, if there is a friction that can halt uh, the rotation of the flagella but to prevent that what we are having it's kind of ball bearing like structure right we all know that ball bearings are very very important uh, and mobiling is very very important for that section for this rotation they are also having that those those important sections here now this mot is not only a stator unit but it is also helping uh, this flagella uh, it is helping the flagella to rotate actually because the flagella rotation ma machinery is kind of controlled by MOT because till date it's not very much understood how flagella is actually rotating what is the molecular mechanism but people may th pe people are thinking that yes this MOT is having a very vital role to play now what this MOT are doing in this case they are uh, having a talk between this stator uh, this rotor unit right so stator and rotor is having an interaction so stator can halt the rotation of rotor right now once this mot is having the signal to release the rotor then only the rotation can be possible right so that's why there is an interaction and that interaction is very very important so this in a sense is the whole structure of flagella and in the future videos you'll be seeing uh, what are the different types uh, that means what are uh, the assembly process of flagella and how the flagella actually rotates in a hypothetical view now if you look at here in this picture <coughs> there are some di diagrams like flagellin we have already talked about except for that we are having flea G proteins so this this large proteins are flea G here P PL means phospholipids and LPS is lipopolysaccharide layers which you can see in the outside so they are kind of known things for you so that's kind of it guys thank you